Hey, what's up, Hyperfast Agent Nation? I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. It is early on Monday morning. I'm heading to the pool to get in a workout. I'm in the last 12 days to Ironman Florida and hitting the pool for an early morning workout. But I've been up for a couple of hours and I think one of the keys to success is to get up early and take on the biggest two or three tasks of the day. So for me, it's a mix of getting up, getting my mind right, taking on two or three big work tasks. Like this morning, I got out a recruiting marketing message. I got out a Hyperfast Agent Sales Summit message. And then I worked on another piece of content for some development projects we're doing. So those were my three big things. Got them all done. Now I'm going to go get punched in the face by my workout. You know, not not uh, literally, of course, that's, that's figuratively, but you know, I know that I've, if I can get something tough in for work, something hard in for work, or something that's important or just requires a lot of brain power or creativity, if I can do that and then go out and get something that's physically challenging, right, and I get all that done before 8 o'clock, I feel like I've, I've already had a successful day and the rest of it is just going to be gravy and it's just going to snowball from there and allow me to do more and more. Saturday evening, getting ready to go to the World Series game. This is going to be the ultimate date night. Carrie and myself, and we've got a babysitter for the kids coming, so I'm excited about that. There is little Grayson. You can see Braden. He's got his helmet on. We just got back from a bike ride. Little family walk, and there is Kiara. So look, you need to treat your relationship the same way you do your physical fitness, your business, your finances. Like you gotta work on it. You gotta gotta make time to spend with your loved one, with the people that you love. And I know I'm guilty of it too, but sometimes it can be something that's easy to forget about. And it's it's no different than anything else in life. Like if you don't put the work in, if you don't learn from others, if you don't read books, right, or, or listen to podcasts or go to a training event on it, you know, it's not going to get better. You have to put in the work. Uh, I think there's a, a cool message in uh, the importance here of having a space, having a place to work where you can focus. And a lot of real estate agents um, kind of neglect that, right? Especially if you're just on your own if you're you know part of a large brokerage you maybe just take floating space i think it's important to to get your own kind of space get in your own routine and you know have have a, a way to just get in the mode or like when you want to you know do follow-up when you want to do prospecting right your your physical environment matters like the environment of people that you're around matters so get in an environment that that can get you comfortable elevate your your state elevate your 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 vibration level and, and put you in the routine to work efficiently, productively, and, and happily. And I'm excited about being able to do that in our office, and I hope that you can create that wherever you are. You know, we really started the podcast less than a year ago, and it's just amazing to see what it has become. And I didn't think it would build this fast. I didn't really envision that we would have, you know, our own dedicated podcast studio this soon. You know, don't put limits on yourself. Don't think that, you know, that anything is not possible or out of reach, right? Uh, I think a lot of times, you know, people, they get so intimidated, right? Because they, they, they see people operating at such a high level or they see agents selling 400, 500 million a year and they think like, gosh, I'm at 5 million or 10 million and, and, and look, it doesn't mean you can't get there, right? It doesn't mean, you know, that if you start today, you can't be there in a year or two or three. Like, like a, you know, having huge success, especially in real estate, is not something that, that, that takes decades. It just takes believing in yourself and putting in the work. Like, just action, right? Just action. Like, the first time we shot a podcast it was in you know on a, on a 
it was in a, a, a room half the size of this and the lighting wasn't great and we weren't really comfortable on camera yet but we just did it right like we didn't we didn't put it off we just we just kept doing it kept doing it kept doing it and and then you know we got we got better at it more comfortable at it and you know six seven eight months later we're, we're now shooting in, in in this room and i'm just so excited about it and i want to thank all of you guys for following along following our journey and I hope that we can connect more in the future and, and continue to, you know, have you guys engage and comment and let us know, you know, what you want us to, to cover, what you'd like to see. So please, please, please leave us some comments, leave us some feedback. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Hyper Fat Show. Subscribe to us if you want to make sure you get the latest and greatest Hyper Fat Shows. And remember, we love reviews. Reviews help us bring better and better guests, improve our shows, and give us the good, the bad, and the ugly. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we will see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you want to see more, click right here. And if you want 100 real estate tips from my best-selling book, click right here to download them instantly. And if you're new to this channel, click below to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out. And leave some comments about what you think on the videos. I read them all each week and I select winners to give out hats, shirts, coaching calls with me, and tickets to some of our events. I'll see you next time.